I often think of the time President Kimball a few years ago called me to the temple. I was busy as an assistant to the 12 at that time. And he called me to meet him on the fourth floor of the temple. And he said, David, can you come right now? And I said, yes, President. And he said, right now. And as I walked to the temple, my heart was beating fast, not knowing, of course, what President Kimball was calling me there for. But he took me into a little room that I hadn't been in before. And there, President Kimball interviewed me regarding my worthiness. And of course, I was amazed because of, of his talking to me that way, I, because I didn't have any idea why I was there. And then he motioned for us to stand. And as I'm standing with that wonderful man and he's holding my hands, he said to me, with all the love that I possess, I'm calling you to fill a vacancy in the Quorum of the Twelve. And when he said that, I thought I was, would collapse with the shock, the astonishment that came into my mind. And so as I had sleepless nights after that call, I molded that in my mind and I thought of it time and time again. He did not say, as the president of the church, he said in that humble, humble way of his, with all the love that I possess, and I knew that what he was teaching me was it would be the love, the love that the Savior hopes that we will acquire, that we must show, that we must demonstrate, we must feel in our hearts and souls in order to teach the gospel properly. As we meet with people out in the world and to bear testimony of a living God, I have that warm, comfortable feeling in my heart that He's real, that God lives, that He is our Father in heaven, and that Jesus is the Christ, the only begotten Son in the flesh. I know that that's true. I so bear my witness and my testimony and my knowledge and the burning that is in my heart that this is true but in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, amen.